Hi and welcome to the first episode of Dachi News, my new music tech update with the latest from the world of music production gear. The show will consist of four different segments. Industry news, Dachi news, channel update and gear of the week. Industry news will cover the latest updates about hardware such as synthesizers, modules, audio interfaces and MIDI controllers, as well as software like virtual instruments, DAWs, effect plugins or apps and all the cool things people do with them. I will not cover everything, but a selection of things that I think are interesting and worth discussing with you. If you see or make something you want to share with the community, post it on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag Dutchy News. Uh, and I may present it here on the show. Just post your music, video, link, or whatever you have with hashtag Dutchy News. Channel update is the part of the show where I give you a behind the scenes look of the channel and share updates about my projects and my personal life. And finally, I'll present to you the gear of the month. Uh, this doesn't have to be a new or expensive piece of equipment, but just something that's particularly useful to me in my studio right now and helps me get things done or have fun. It can be something as simple as an adapter or stand. A shout out goes to Stefan Wiesner, who inspired me to do this format. Uh, if you speak German and you're into photography, check out his channel on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description. Magella Audio are teasing their upcoming desktop synthesizer. Implexus is an analog monosynth that combines a complex oscillator with wave shaping, folding and audio rate modulation with an analog filter, LFOs and envelope generators. Sandbar for Touch Bar is a free app that turns the MacBook Pro Touch Bar into a sample instrument with four different modes and multiple controls and effects. It was created by the makers of the very popular Sampler iPad app. To run it, you need a MacBook with macOS Catalina and, you guessed it, a Touch Bar. Anyway, it's interesting to see developers do some creative stuff with the touch bar, which for many of us has been pretty useless so far. Theoryboard has returned to Kickstarter. The latest iteration of the music theory board gives you access to 840 scales, chords and melodies with almost 2 million possible chord combinations via the built-in theory engine, directly accessible through 96 velocity sensitive RGB pads with polyphonic aftertouch and the central control panel. Smart tools like Theoryboard make music theory accessible to players with little or no music education, but they're somewhat controversial in parts of the music production community, with some stating they lead to generic music or they're plain cheating. In my opinion, every tool that empowers people to be creative and make music is a good thing. Not all of us have the privilege of receiving formal music education, but that should not keep us from experiencing the joy of making music. At the end of the day, music theory is nothing but fancy math anyway, so if you're down with calculators, you should be down with Theory Board too. Native Instruments have released a new free charity pack. <laughs> Community Drive features audio stems, samples and kits contributed by 14 artists such as Peaches, Hi. Richard Divine, Junkie XL or Just Blaze. As part of the campaign, the Berlin company has announced a 100,000 euro donation to seven global charities. The Community Drive sound pack is free, but Native Instruments users are encouraged to make additional donations with GoFundMe and so far they have gathered more than 30,000 euros. I'll put a link in the description. Presonus have introduced a new MIDI controller. Atom SQ features 32 pads, which can be used both as drum pads or keys, as well as 8 encoders, 16 assignable buttons, including transport controls, a built-in arpeggiator, scales mode, a touch strip and a display. As expected, it's custom tailored to Presonus DAW Studio One, but it also comes with some Ableton Live integration and it's quite affordable.
In an article published on medium.com, an author called HP Matthews tested 10 different hardware and software MIDI sequencers to see how tight and stable they would sequence a steady beat. He only had access to a limited selection of hard and software, but none of the hardware sequencers he tested could compete with his iPhone running Cubasis or a Mac with Reaper. This could indicate that modern mobile devices and software might have outrun hardware sequencers in performance stability. Take into account though that this test was far from representative and even the loosest timing Matthews measured was far from noticeable for most people. SoundCloud have introduced their new online mastering service in collaboration with Dolby, which is integrated directly into their platform. After uploading your song, you can choose to let SoundCloud automatically master it to improve levels and sound quality. As of now, you can select between four different mastering styles with poetic names such as Thunder, Aurora, Clear Sky or Sunroof, which are apparently tailored to different music genres. And you can set the intensity of the mastering effect. SoundCloud then uh, generates a 30 second preview of your hopefully improved track and if you like what you hear, you can buy the finished master for $4.99 per track. Subscribers of the Pro Unlimited tier get three masters per month with their plan and a lower price for additional ones. My first impression is that it sounds somewhat decent and it could be a helpful tool, uh, especially for beginners to, you know, quickly improve the sound of your songs. But whether or not you want to trust the final treatment of your song with an algorithm instead of a well-trained pair of human ears, that's entirely up to you. Atelier Palette is a new free module for the VCV Rack platform. It's based on Mutable Instruments Plats, but offers additional controls and direct access to almost all parameters. Faded Instruments have announced a new plugin as well, Spectral Disruption, which is a multiband Chevy Chef polynomial based distortion effect. And if you have no clue what that means either, there's a video on their website where they explain it. TLDW is distortion, but awesomer. And it will be available in early August. Another Kickstarter. Diva Control turns the Innovation Launch Control XL into a dedicated MIDI controller for Yuhi's virtual synthesizer Diva. The bundle will contain a custom MIDI template and a hard cover with all the features printed on it. J74 has released a new instrument for Ableton Max for Life. Venus 6 is a six voice poly multi synthesizer based on 1980s DCO synths. It can be used as one six voice polyphonic synthesizer or as six independent mono synths. The package contains the synth and a companion sequencer and chorus, which can be used separately. And finally, if you have troubles eradicating all those years of piano lessons and music theory from your head and you just can't seem to hit a wrong note, Note Wang is here for you. The little Max for Life device will change any incoming note to a totally random different one. Plugin of the year. So here comes the channel update. As you might have noticed, I took a break from YouTube for around a year. I was uh, completely wound up in family issues and growing my business as a freelance sound designer and editor. So I just couldn't find the time and energy anymore to make videos. Due to the Corona crisis, I have lost around 80% of my business in the last three months, uh, just like many of you. And with all that free time at hand, I suddenly realized what I really want to do and what really matters to me. And that's making music and creating content about making music. So I'm back on YouTube again and I've been uploading weekly for around two months now. I started with some casual music and beat making videos and also have tutorials and reviews in the making. And some more personal news. I was one of the finalists of the 2020 Music and Sound Awards in the category Best Sound Design in a TV Commercial. I was nominated together with my colleague George Levine for our work on a new Mercedes-Benz campaign directed by Niklas Weise. 
We didn't make first place in the end, but still, being a finalist was a pretty nice experience. My gear of the month is this little device, the CSET PL88 Mini by Lewis MIDI. It's basically a patch library in a box that connects to a synthesizer with MIDI and it comes with thousands of preloaded patches and a nice arpeggiator function. It's compatible with around a dozen synthesizers and I use it with my Casio CSET 101, which can't hold patches anymore due to a corroded battery department. So now it's back in use. That's all I got for now. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Dutchie News and yeah, leave a comment and let me know what you think about the new format. If you want to share anything with the community and me, post it on Twitter and Instagram with hashtag Dutchie News. A special thank you goes to my patrons who help me stay creative and productive with their support. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.